NASA's plan to return humans to the moon by 2024? The Artemis mission. Are you aware that it's been almost half a century since humans have ventured beyond Earth's orbit? The last time we set foot on the moon was back in 1972, and our grand ambitions of space exploration were left unfulfilled. But now we are finally making a comeback. The Artemis program is leading the charge with plans to establish a permanent lunar base and eventually land on Mars. And today, we're going to delve into the three Artemis missions that are the backbone of this groundbreaking initiative. The Artemis program relies on cutting-edge technology like the Orion spacecraft and SLS rocket designed to transport a crew of four. We'll start with the precursor missions to the Artemis missions, involving the delivery of the payload to the lunar surface. Then, in 2023, the crewed flight test of SLS and Orion will take place during the Artemis II missions. While the Artemis III mission in 2024 will involve in space testing of all hardware, software, and operating systems with NASA's commercial HLS partners. Get ready to explore each Artemis mission in detail. The Artemis I mission marked the first step towards returning humans to the moon. The mighty SLS rocket carried on Orion spacecraft, which will travel a whopping 40,000 miles beyond the moon and 280,000 miles from Earth before returning back. This daring mission is crucial to test the performance of the SLS rocket and gather vital data during the flight path of the Orion spacecraft. And that's not all. The spacecraft will undergo a high-speed lunar velocity re-entry that will test its thermal efficiency as it heats up to a staggering 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is half of the temperature of the Sun, and the ultimate test for this revolutionary spacecraft. Although uncrewed, the Orion spacecraft will be packed with cutting-edge equipment to collect data and verify performance, paving the way for future crewed missions. During the four to six week mission, the spacecraft will travel 1.4 million miles and deploy 13 CubeSats to conduct scientific investigations and gather lunar data. The maiden test flight of the Orion spacecraft has already proven its capabilities in high Earth orbit, demonstrating its heat shield's resilience during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. So hold on tight and witness history in the making with the Artemis 1 mission. NASA has been busy testing the limits of space travel with the Orion spacecraft. They've conducted a series of parachute tests and launched the spacecraft on a mission to test its launch abort system. But now, with the success of Artemis 1 under their belt, they're gearing up for the biggest mission yet, Artemis 2. This will be the first crewed flight of the space launch system and Orion spacecraft, with four astronauts heading to the lunar environment for the first time in 50 years. It's set to be an Apollo 8 moment for the Artemis generation, as they capture the full globe of Earth from afar. The mission will last 10 days and set a record for the farthest human travel beyond the moon's dark side. With thousands of hours of testing behind them, NASA is ready to launch the crew on board Orion via the SLS rocket. Once in orbit, Orion will sail in elliptical orbit for roughly 42 hours between 259,000 miles above Earth, before separating from the ICPS and using it as a target for a proximity operations demonstration. It's an exciting time for space exploration, and NASA is leading the way. So, prepare to witness history in the making as the Artemis II crew takes manual control of the Orion spacecraft in a daring new exercise. With cameras and windows as their eyes, the astronauts will deftly steer their way towards and away from the interim cryogenic propulsion stage, evaluating the spacecraft's handling qualities as they go. This critical demonstration will offer valuable data and operational experience that simply cannot be obtained on the ground, ensuring that the Artemis III mission will be a resounding success. But that's just the beginning. The crew will then travel a breathtaking 4,600 miles beyond the moon's far side, offering a rare and awe-inspiring view of our planet and its natural satellite. And as they prepare for Earth entry, the crew will put their pressurized spacesuits to the test, making sure everything is in working order before hurling back through the Earth's atmosphere. 
Now, get ready for the most thrilling conclusion to NASA's deep space transportation system testing yet. After more than 2 million miles traveled in space during the Artemis 1 and 2 missions, the Orion spacecraft and its intrepid crew are heading back to the moon. But this time, they're not just going for a sightseeing tour. NASA is planning to make history by landing the first woman and next man on the lunar surface as part of the Artemis 3 mission. Flying at an incredible speed of over 25,000 miles per hour, the Orion spacecraft will re-enter Earth's atmosphere, slowing down to a mere 325 miles per hour before parachutes, bringing it to a gentle 20 miles per hour splashdown. The recovery team will be ready and waiting to retrieve the crew from the Pacific Ocean. But that's not all. NASA has big plans for the future of lunar exploration. The Gateway will serve as a staging point on lunar orbit for future missions to the surface, allowing for extended explorations and multiple visits during a single Artemis mission. This operational system is similar to how a human Mars mission may operate, providing valuable experience and building trust in the system before embarking on a journey to the Red Planet. However, there's still one major question left unanswered. Where will the Artemis 3 crew touch down? While the exact landing site for Artemis 3 hasn't been decided yet, NASA is working with the global science community to find the best location. The landing site will depend on several factors, including the launch date and specific science objectives. NASA is looking for regions that offer access to significant sunlight, mild grading and surface debris for safe landing, and walking or roving mobility. The location should also be in close proximity to permanently shadowed regions that are thought to contain resources. NASA's upcoming lunar missions will collect more surface data through scientific research, which will help identify additional regions of interest for human exploration. Viper, the robotic scout, will provide valuable information for landing site decisions. The human landing system will transport research gear and equipment to the surface, and samples will be returned to Earth. More supplies may be deposited on the surface before the crew arrives, depending on the results of an earlier test of the lander's descent stage. Once on the lunar surface, the Artemis 3 crew will prepare for their historic trip back to Earth with their perfectly preserved moon samples. This voyage marks the conclusion of NASA's deep space transportation systems, extensive testing, and more than 2 million miles in space during Artemis 1 and 2. Following the completion of this historic trip on the lunar surface, the crew will launch from the surface to rendezvous with Orion and their crewmates in lunar orbit. The success of the Artemis mission is crucial for the future of space exploration. These missions will provide a valuable data and operational experience for key rendezvous, proximity operations, docking, and undocking activities that will commence on Artemis 3. With each mission, NASA is getting closer to achieving its goal of landing the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface. NASA's Artemis program is not just about landing humans back on the moon by 2024. It's about making it sustainable in the long run. And while private companies may join the human landing club in the future, the foundation will be laid by these three crucial Artemis missions. The stakes have never been higher, but the rewards will be greater still. With so much at stake, what will these missions mean for the next generation of space explorers? So let's stay tuned for more updates on this epic journey to the moon and beyond. Who knows what we'll discover next? Thank you for joining us on this adventure. And we'll see you soon in the next chapter of space exploration. And we have a lot more exciting news to share. Don't miss out. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell.